Do anal insufflation on coke and record that. <laughs> oh, I already have that video. I need this shit. We are in about that video. Here. Did you guys pass out? You start it on yourself all the time? Yeah. I'll do it on Ellen, but she doesn't do it on me. If I wanted to poke people's flesh, I would have gone to a different graduate school. <laughs> right, engineering your, didn't teach you that. Uh, they don't teach phlebotomy in uh, Bill, do you, engineering school. Do you feel school. anything when you do it? Do you feel any rush or anything? I don't. Some people do? Some people do. Uh, most commonly, there's some pressure sensation in the chest and <clears throat> the feeling that you're going to cough if you breathe too deep. So I don't. Start pumping. Or am I? Who knows? Oh. I beg your pardon. We already did that. He's got the heroin. Yeah. Oh, so the bad news is he's only 29 years old. <laughs> 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 this is what drug dealers do. <laughs> That's the worst thing is sometimes I'll drop the dang thing. And it's in your arm. And then you're like, ouch. Let's find a vein. Let's really find a vein. It looks kind of like a vein. It's it's aspirating. That's a good sign, is it not? I'll do the rest. So the key is to just do this slowly. How many cc's? Well, normally now we're doing about two full syringes, so it's about 110 cc's. And there's no chance but of embolus here. Uh, he hopes not. not well, think of, of course there's a chance of embolism. <laughs> okay, thank you. But your concern but we is don't care. Air, it's which oxygen. is 78 percent nitrogen. Well, this is pure well, oxygen, which well, immediately. I, in other words, I, I, I don't understand the concept That's of embolism well First enough. First of all, when we do brain surgery, we introduce about 250 cc's of air in people. No big deal. Okay. And you know when you're filling a needle, you, you're knocking out those little bubbles. It's full of bullshit. It's ridiculous. There's no well, need to do that. We were talking well, we, about Of TV. course we were. Yeah. And CSI, you know, on TV, oh, they yeah. show you can kill somebody with a CC of air. It doesn't right. happen. And that's air. This uh, is oxygen. Too much TV, not enough school lately. Yeah. The thing is well, that it's this convenient. is oxygen. Um, they've actually done some tracking and show that it's fully dissolved about four or five inches into the vein. Really? Well, that's, that's, that's obviously not. wrong because I can feel it going through my shoulder. Everyone you can is, hear the bubbles. I hear bubbles I can in my feel ears. Them in my heart he hears bubbles right up around here. How did you start doing this? I mean, we took you know, the course. One, from, there from, are people in, in, in medicine who have been doing this for many years. It's done yes. very commonly. I mean, it's that, probably one of the main ways of systemic ozone in the entire world, but hardly so anybody talks about it. Now that he's been doing it, but how do you have the guts to do it originally? Because I'm not going to be Mikey on something like this. I'm going to watch it done on many, many people. So, Mark, what we did is we learned. We've learned about ozone. Then we went and learned from the experts not to do IV. And then now we're going to learn IV from a guy who's done how many cases? Uh, about 180,000. Are you going to Howard's course? Yeah. yeah, Howard Robbins in New York is New York. up near 200,000 cases So, Bill, now. you're just using a light pressure on that yeah. plunger. There are times Crazy. when, you know, there are it's valves like and veins, and sometimes you'll be up against the valve Everyone and you'll feel back pressure, stupid, right? yeah. and you now stop. Think it's okay. yeah. Well, some of us do. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> actually, so, the country, so for you to yeah, empty yeah, that yeah, entire right. syringe well, takes Today I'm not, because we've been traveling, so uh -huh. I'm, I've been off for a couple of weeks now. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to a lower volume. Okay. Mark, and we then were, after a few days, I'll go back up to my full volume. So you we do like 100 Howard's cc's today? Is I'm probably going December, to do 30. 30? And okay. helped him. He's, he constantly says, I'm a clinician, I'm not a researcher. But he's got this 190,000 cases that have never been analyzed. So that's one reason I go along on these trips. I'm not a medical person, but I've got a large back background in statistics and management consulting and so forth. So we helped him set up the study to capture some of that data so it can get published in medical journals as real data, not just, I have 200,000 people. State of New York uh, Medical Board has twice done an import. He says he's the only person who has a certificate that ozone is okay because the state of New York went after his license twice and decided that they didn't have anything to take his license away with. Awesome. Uh, and he's so a podiatrist. He's a podiatrist. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so you, when you go done. to his 
clinic, you sign up for He's still research breathing, on folks. medical problems of the feet and ankles. So, well, it's like like a dentist, you know. The feet and the ankles are attached to the thigh bones, the thigh bones help, connected. Does, does this stuff help peripheral neuropathy? Yes. Absolutely. And, and there are other ways of getting ozone getting into it. the system, for sure. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the more advanced ways that we're playing with now. I have most recently, neuropathy. Mm -hmm. <coughs> most recently, we're having some feedback about perio, which is very interesting. We need to uh, vacate the room. Yeah.